Kevin, you're the king of new homes. Why do estate agents get part exchange wrong, so wrong? Uh, do they get it wrong or is it the base of how they're instructed? Um, Interesting, go on. So we've just launched a PX offering and the reason we've launched the PX offering is based on a huge amount of feedback we've had from agents that we work with. And they're getting offered PX instructions from some of the big corporates. Um, so this isn't house builders, but via their sort of median, if you like. And they're getting offered instructions on a multi-agency for a below a 1% fee, including VAT, plus a hundred pound admin fee back for whatever. Um, and it's a total disincentive. And these, these corporates, if you like, that are pushing these instructions around, will almost just pu push it to whoever will take the fee. Now, is that the best Is that the best agent for the developer to sell what I believe is potentially the biggest problem property on the balance sheet? You know, Ooh. think of it from the house builder's point of view. They didn't build that house. They don't know what's right, wrong, or indifferent. Um, the buyer me or the vendor moves out, and all of a sudden it looks very shabby. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's not like selling one of their stock plots or whatever. Um, so we've we've come to sort of realise that that actually there's a different way of dealing with it, and that way is to be working with the best agent in the town and to be incentivised around the right things. Now, that, go on. Do you that, go on? Sorry. Sorry. So that incentive um, could be fee. Okay. So the fee that a developer is paying the corporates, in some instances, will be will be over two percent. So the corporate might be creaming, you know, for you know one one and a bit percent for the management, and I accept that that was a big piece around the management. Why do they go to those sort of firms? Because it's place? because the perception is it's quick and easy, and they've got a network of agents that they can push it out to. Um, yeah, for all, us, that, all that agent does is just pick up the phone to a few agents. They're doing nothing for their one percent. They'll they'll be doing reporting back to the house builder around you know how the transactions are going, because the developer will, there's not an infinite budget that they've got for allocating to PXs. You ought to do it at the Lands and Homes. Well, we are, <laughs> and we are indeed. <laughs> so shameless plug, but um, but the difference for us is that we're, we're giving best-in-class agents to handle it. Now, it's the reason why we've, um, we've made a strategic decision to partner up with the Relocation Agent Network. We happen to get on... Love those people. Yeah, we happen to get on very, very well with them. Obviously, Ian, who I work with, is from there originally. Uh, we like their morals, we like their way of working, we think they've got a really good agent that, or agency network that um, complements ours. Yes. Um, now this ultimately, um, we're driving this initiative, it's our PX offering. Um, so where we've got an agent in a location, our agents will get those instructions. But where we might have a, an instruction for a property in another area where we don't, that we can tap into the relocation agent network, we'll, we'll do that as well. Mm. But the big piece is... It's back to you know the the assurance from a house builder that they've got the best agent dealing with it. Now we heard of one recently where an agent of was offered instruction, 0.9%. He declined it. Uh, ended up going to an agent which only had three properties on the market, and were just nothing in the in that scene. They were they were more a letting agent. Yes. So is that letting agent going to have as many buyers on their database to to work with and sort of you know generate that activity? Now. I don't believe they can. Um, so, you know, has the develop has that is that in the vendor's best interest, i.e. the house builder? I I just I don't think it is. So Okay, what about the actual valuation itself? Because when some builders ask for like three or four different valuations, some of which most agents don't even know what a forced sale price is or a ninety day figure. Is that a ninety day for sale or an exchange? What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, look, I think that they're trying to get a barometer for where the values sit. So if you know, if all hell was going to break loose and they needed to bail out um, that they've got their sort of exit figure and yes. there's lots of traders um, that will buy PX properties as a guarantee um, you know to, to take okay. it off the books um, what do you I mean if, if an agent is concerned about what a valuation means should they be picking the phone up to the builder and actually asking them what exactly do you mean here I think yeah clearly they need to understand what they're pricing on the basis of and they're not giving a valuation, they're giving a market appraisal. Okay, So this isn't an RICS valuation report, 
this is an indicative value of where, where maybe they believe the for sale figure is, open market value and suggested asking price. Should they be going to the site representative or probably going to some more regional? No, be going or... higher up. So it should be if the instructions coming through directly from the house bill, they should be going that way, or if they're coming through somebody like ourselves or one of the corporate providers, they need to just clarify the basis. Sound, of sound how basics, just pick the phone up and ask. Just pick the phone up. Excellent. Any other tips? No, I think the the only other thing I'd say is just be be diligent in the approach of how you're going to go about marketing it. You know, remember that okay, it might seem like a low fee that you might be getting from the corporates, or better still, if you're getting one from us, great getting full fee but even if you're getting it on a lower fee or you've made that decision to take it do a great job okay because if you do a great job and you market it properly and you don't just treat it as a it's just another bloody multi-agency instruction yeah. um, when that developer comes to having a, a site in their area who are they going to remember there you, go. you know so if you if you if you handle it badly you're damaging your wider reputation so you've got to make a decision not to handle it at all and just politely step away because the fee's not at the right level, or just do it and do it really, really well. Thank you.